Players TV speaking to Champions League manager Robbie Simpson after the defeat here at Dart for tonight. Robbie, a, a gallant performance in the second half, but we've, we haven't come away with any points again. Yeah, no, we freshened things up today. Um, slight change in shape, and I thought for the first part of the game, the initial parts of the game, it was it was working really well. We had some good territory, and um, the first goal, that, their goal just seemed to throw us off um, everything, and. I hold real responsibility for not reverting to our, our structure that, that we know and we've been doing for the last you know, 15 games. Um, not recon Well, I did recognise it, but not changing it um, and waiting to half time to change it. But have, having said that, it's, it's two set pieces that we conceded from. Um, the first is, I mean, he's a, he's, he is a special set piece taker. He really is. And, uh, and the first three kicks. S superb really um, to get it up and over and then down bouncing on the line and going in it's, it, it kind of gives Deal no chance um, the second one w w w we switch off um, you know we deal with the initial one and the next one after that but then someone's free at the, at the far post when we've stopped so um, it's not really good enough from our point of view but a lovely ball in and it causes it causes confusion and problems when, you, when you've got that type of delivery um, second half we were outstanding we started, we started so well. You know, we regrouped in there. We knew the game wasn't over. We knew if we got an early goal that we, we could get something from this game. And, and we got an early goal. We looked bright. We were on the front foot. We were pressing. And, uh, and then obviously the sending off happens. And it makes our task really difficult, really difficult. But they kept going. You know, I, I absolutely love those lads in there. They've given everything that second half. And they've kept going with 10 men against a really, really good, experienced side. And, um, and and quite rightly, the fans have clapped them and sang them off at the end, quite rightly so. And um, But unfortunately, I think that the two set pieces, plus plus myself, um, have cost us getting anything from this game. Yeah, and the uh, we started uh, with James Dillon in goal. Is there an update on Jacob Marsden? Yeah, well, I got a nice, nice birthday present this morning with a with a report that Jacob um, injured himself at home doing some um, pre-game stretching, um, and he felt a crack in his ankle. So, uh, yeah, it's just just how things are going for us injury-wise, really, just something silly like that. Um, not sure how uh, how long he's going to be out for. He's got a swollen ankle and obviously heard a crack, so um, it doesn't look good. Okay, and uh, we we. The second half was sort of night and day from the first. What did you say to him at half time? Because we really flew out of the blocks. Could have scored before we did score. Yeah, well, obviously, we, we changed back to our structure and, <laughs> you know, I just told them to, to believe because we did have moments in that first yeah, half. We really did. Even even at 1 0 down, 2 0 down, even though we it threw us off our game plan, really, and we looked a little bit all, all over the place, um, being blunt, we still had, we still had moments. So, I took those in at half time and told them, look, even though we were a bit all over the place, we still had moments. So if we get our structure back, get us playing correctly again, then we'll score. And if we score early enough, I, I really fancied us to get something, at least a point out of this game, to be honest with you. And we started ever so well. We, like you said, we did come out of the traps and you could see their confidence then build. And it had the opposite effect of their goal in the first half where it, it threw us completely off. We, we galvanised and we were even more solid defensively as well as being really attacking and having attacking intent everybody wanted the ball their first touches were really good whereas when we were having that wobble in the first half first touches weren't weren't good enough which enabled which didn't help us play play the football that we wanted to but second half we did first touches were great punching through the lines on the half turn runners forward we, we were really good and then obviously the moment of the sending up sending off as as for me had a real impact on on the game and the end result yeah, and they they were the ones hanging on at the end as well. When, even though we had uh, a lesser advantage in terms of players. Yeah, fair play to our lads. They were absolutely out on their feet and they kept going and and they created created a couple of really decent chances at the, at the end. And I thought I thought Ches's head was was in. I was I was almost jumping up. Um, but listen, uh, the sending off has a big impact. The quality of um, Jeb's set pieces has a huge impact. And then um, 
Uh, and then I'll take a lot from that about not changing things quick enough in, the, in that first half. And um, uh, other than that, that, those boys deserve a lot of credit that second half, a huge amount of credit. And they've shown, they've shown everybody in this, whole, in this whole stadium how good they are because they, they were so good that second half. Yeah, and a big call from you starting Luke Deslandes uh, uh, again away at Dartford in his second start, and he was he was brilliant out there. Got himself an assist, almost scored in the first half as well. Yeah, well, we were late making the call whether to whether to start Luke again because we know that they're a big, physical, experienced side. Um, so it was a tough call to start him, but I thought he did really well Saturday. And I just felt like with the change of shape that we started with, he, he would find himself in space and he's got a bit of guile and, and class about him to, to, and creativity to open up defences and that's, that's, that's what we hoped would happen. Um, and, it, and it did obviously for the goal, he's, he, he, put, he put Tom through on goal. Um, he's doing really well Luke, like I said, he's really stepped up these last two or three weeks and, and so has Freddie to be honest with you, so has Freddie, he's looked really, really sharp so um, he's knocking on the door, tough to leave the players out you know Louis Ches Matt Rush today as well and 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 Guy Guy's been training really really well so um obviously with Eddie out I'll have a decision to make for um for Saturday on that but listen the, the players the players are giving everything that they're, they're really good players and they've shown game after game that they can play at this level and be really really good team at this level we just perhaps need things to go for us again and and we need confidence is a massive thing, you know, a massive thing. I felt like we did look reasonably confident in the opening stages of that match, but when they scored, we didn't. We didn't. We shrugged our shoulders and um, and looked a little bit all over the place. Yeah, and we've got a big game on Saturday, Welling. The, they were the only side below us that didn't get anything today. So their uh, first game with a new manager at home as well. So a big, a big game on Saturday. Yeah, you know we've got a run of games now. We've had a, we've had a difficult run of games. You know that I think all of the teams we've played in the last, other than haven't, have, have been in the playoffs. So we've had a really tough run of games, and. And we've got some tired bodies, you know, they've, they've, we've had a small squad, plenty of injuries. Um, they've played game after game, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to freshen things up today. And um, we've got a good run of games coming up now where I expect us to take some points from. OK, I'll see you on Saturday, Robbie, and happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>